just want to kind of clarify because there are still growing talk out there, um, even this afternoon, about uh, a White House intervention for shale producers should uh, some of them hit uh, hit the skids. And many of them are, as we know, heavily, heavily levered, Mike. Uh, you're kind of on the record saying that's unnecessary. How far would you push that? When would it be necessary? Well, look, I mean, of course, we're very concerned about the ongoing uh, instability within oil markets. What we have here, though, is a demand shock, of course, because of coronavirus and a supply shock because of the decision by Russia and Saudi to flood the market with oil. So we are concerned about these geopolitical factors that are that are feeding into some downturn within the industry. So we're looking at this right now. We're, we're trying to make sure that our policy makers are responding in the right way. But ultimately, the solution here is to work in a diplomatic way to make sure that the oil markets are well balanced. Uh, we want to make sure that our colleagues uh, in other parts of the world are looking at the markets, not looking at what governments are doing in this space. Mike, at what price per barrel are Saudi and Russia successful in what they say they want to take market share from U.S. shale producers? Well, what we do know is that they're flooding the markets now in an uneconomic way. And what the American production has meant to these markets is incredible stability over the course of the last five years. I mean, if you think about the fact that you, you had almost 50 percent of Saudi oil come offline as a result of the Iranian attack, and there was almost no market reaction uh, as a consequence of that. Uh, and you, there have been a lot of other different shocks. The, the, the real reason for that is because of American production that has come online in the last 10 years. So what these countries are actually aiming at is eliminating American energy independence, eliminating American energy leadership. I mean, this has been a stated goal of Russia for many years, is to eliminate these shale uh, producers, particularly in the Permian. Right. So we want to make sure that the market is working here. And we're focused on making sure that the free market works, not on some government intervention that would go outside the market. How much can the industry itself do to downsize its cost footprint in order to weather storms like this one, Mike? Well, look, you're starting to see it already. Uh, you know, you've seen many producers just today start to talk about uh, downsizing, um, you know, in response to the market. And I think that that's what we really would prefer, is that producers and countries look towards what the supply uh, outlook is and what the supply needs are in the free market, not be looking to government at this point uh, to, to make up some of that demand. We were encouraged today that mm -hmm. the Department of Energy decided they weren't going to put another 12 million barrels uh, on the market uh, because of a, a, a sale from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Uh, right. That was good news. And we want to make sure that uh, governments continue to make these kinds of decisions that right. are good for the oil industry.